Oh, God, I hate this guy a lot. Okay. <laughs> Representative Steve King was speaking to Allison Camarada, Camarada on CNN, and they were specifically addressing the fact that the House Appropriations Committee would like to allocate a whopping $1.6 billion to begin construction on the border wall. Now, um, it's interesting because that money will come from US taxpayers, not from Mexico, as our president promised. Uh, and Camarada decided to ask Steve King about it. Do you think it's a good idea to do this? Take a look. Comfortable, Congressman, with providing $1.6 billion of taxpayer money, not from Mexico, to build that wall. Absolutely, yes, and more. And I'd throw another $5 billion on the pile, and I would find a half of a billion dollars of that right out of Planned Parenthood's budget. And the rest of it could come out of food stamps and the entitlements that are being spread out for people that haven't worked in three generations. We've got to put America back to work. This administration will do it. And we've got to, let, we've got to free them up so that they can and support the right agenda for this country. But he's a great pro-life representative, especially considering the fact that the vast majority of people who benefit from these food stamps are actually kids. More than 40 million Americans receive food stamps and nearly two thirds of them are children, elderly or disabled. The average household on food stamps had incomes, had an income of less than $10,000 a year. By the way, it's a really interesting conversation when you put everything into context because his argument is, we got to build that wall to keep Mexicans out because they're taking all our jobs. While he simultaneously says, "Oh, look at all these lazy motherfuckers, you know, taking, you know, mooching off the government, you know, they need to go out there and work." Okay, so which one is it? Is it that they can't work because Mexicans are taking their jobs or is it because they're lazy and they're just taking advantage of the government? Mm, that's a good point. Uh, so here's the things that bothered me. Um they haven't worked in three generations. What do you know, dude? What, what does that mean? So, uh, he, look, I, I don't want you to get me wrong. Like, are they? I'm not a, a naive dude who's like, no, everyone who's ever received government assistance is heavenly and angelic. No, there's some bums. There are. I don't mean homeless people. I mean a bum who sits around and takes it. And and so, yeah, uh, is that the majority? No, we just gave you the stats. Two thirds are kids, elderly or disabled. So, and you don't have any stats to back up your claim that three generations of bums exist and that they are the majority of the people taking food stamps. And who are you calling bums anyway? Because, you know, like he keeps, like, look, everything Steve King does is racial. You remember when he talked about the Mexicans crossing the border with the cantaloupe mm -hmm. uh, calves mm -hmm. because they're bringing dragging so much drugs in that their calves grew out of proportion. I mean, this guy's a <laughs> lunatic when it comes to racial stuff. And he's the one that talked about how they had to maintain white, uh, you know, European culture. ancestry mm -hmm. and culture here, here in America. So the guy is, so when he talks about three generations of people not working, you know who he's talking about. But the reality is, you know who's on food stamps and Medicaid? Interesting stat. One third of West Virginia is on Medicaid. Yep. One third of West Virginia. I have to give you the stats on this because it's pretty amazing. So a document circulated on Capitol Hill in May said that a White House budget proposal would slash 193 billion from the SNAP program, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. A CNN analysis though found out that of the top 10 places with the largest percentage of residents who use SNAP, seven voted for Trump in the 2016 elections. And so again, we have a, a, a chunk of the population here that continuously votes against their best interests. And we have to get to the bottom of why that is. Why is that happening? I mean, obviously there's misinformation, they're being misled, they're being manipulated. And it's frustrating because you try to give evidence and provide information about what's really going on to look out for them. And they reject it as elitist propaganda. And it's like, no, 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 what you've bought into is the propaganda. Well, the, part of the problem is that progressives actually care about uh, Americans. Yes. So <laughs> if, if progressives are as cold and calculating as Republicans are, they'd go, oh, you want a Trump? Great, that's it, we're cutting food stamps in all the places. And yeah, that's gonna hurt some of our constituents, but it's gonna hurt your constituents way worse. So let West Virginia for once feel uh, the consequence of voting for a Republican. N you know, West Virginia, 
was had the second biggest margin for Trump out of any state in the country. They had a 42 point margin for Trump. Okay, well, Trump and the Republicans want to cut Medicaid as an example by $772 billion according to the last Senate proposal, which Trump loves. Okay, let's cut all your Medicaid in West Virginia. And all of a sudden, a third of the state has no health insurance. And then you take away food stamps from West Virginia. Do you have any idea the kind of devastation you would have? You know where West Virginia ranks in economic well being? They rank 48th in median income. There's only 50 states. So, but. Democrats won't do it, and I'm not saying they should, by the way. No. I'm also a progressive. I would never want to do that to West Virginia. Never, right? Because we actually care about you guys. So the Republicans are willing to do it to you and then cover up for it. And the, but the Democrats will fight tooth and nail, some of them, not all of them, will, but will fight tooth and nail to make sure that doesn't happen to West Virginia. But if they once just said, all right, have at it, Hoss. You want Republicans, you want their policies, here's their policies, go ahead, mm -hmm. right? And so, and I know the Republicans would have a whole new set of lies about that. But the reality is that they have, as you can tell from Steve King, if you're someone who is relying on food stamps because your family's run on hard times, you think this guy's got your back, you gotta be out of your mind to think that. Right. He can't wait to cut the money that your family relies on so he can give even more tax cuts to the rich. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks, download it, stream it, podcast it, get all the network shows and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com slash join.